Hello, I'm Sarah of Communication Liberation and in this video I would like to talk a little bit about why um, awareness is so important in stammering therapy and the difference that it makes and um, so I suppose you know in, in therapy we're we're looking to find a way for things to change um, and you know, the reality is it's, it's very difficult to change things that um, you're not actually aware of. And um, so one of the first things that we do is um, a kind of process of identification of different aspects of stammering. And um, on the surface it might seem initially quite obvious. Um, so people might think, well, yeah, you know, I, I, I know what I do, I know that this happens to my body and um, these are my thoughts and yeah, I, know it, I, I know it all. <laughs> um, and that's, that's very understandable and I think, um, you know, the people that I work with are very self-aware, have high levels of, of awareness and, um, but I think uh, an interesting model um, for getting a bit more insight into this area of uh, awareness is um, the Johari window and um, uh, what that looks at is uh, how there are these four different areas and in the first first area of um, our awareness um, are things that are known uh, so known to the self, let's say, um, and known to others, and that's known as the um, open area or the arena sometimes. And um, so this is this is what yeah this is sort of more obvious stuff. Um, but then we we go on to the area of, of things that are known to others but not known to the self. And so um, that would be a kind of blind area. Often we, we talk about blind spots. And um, so those can be very useful to um, take a look at in therapy um, with the help of the therapist. And, uh, and then thirdly, there's, um, there's what's known to the self uh, and not known to others. And this is particularly relevant when it comes to looking at more covert, interiorized, or as I sometimes call it, secret stammering, where there's a lot that's going on underneath the surface um, that's not known to other people, avoidance and um, uh, negative emotions and, and all of that side of things. Um, so yeah, so that's called uh, hidden or uh, facade area. And, and then finally is, uh, is the area um, which is things that are not known to the self and not known to others and that's the kind of area of the, the unknown and um, interestingly as, as we go along um, in therapy things from that area can, can emerge and can make themselves known and can be very useful in terms of um, moving moving the process forward. Um, so yes, I think that the the main message that I that I want to get across is is that it's important, um, especially at the start, to realise that not everything is within your your sphere of awareness, and to to kind of just stay open to that idea that there there may be things that. Um, will be revealed to you over time uh, that could be very helpful. Um, so uh, yes, if you would like to be the first to hear about the, the next video that I do following on from this, then um, you can sign up for free support on my website www.communicationliberation.co.uk and um, I hope this video has been useful in some way. Bye for now.